we are tying sea run cutthroat flies and Chris and I were just we were just reminiscing or commiserating I'm, by the way I'm tying in <laughs> I should tell you this is a double hackle sea run cutthroat fly the butt is Lagerton mini flat braid in silver the thread is a Mark Pettigene 8 aught splittable, whatever. Good stuff. What do you like about that, Jay, so much? That Pettigene thread? Well, it's it's very fine. It's very tough. Uh, I like it because it is. It doesn't lay completely flat, and because of that, it will. If I'm if I'm using bucktail, it will compress my bucktail, and it'll stay put instead of slipping out. So, the rear hackle is this American Saddle Clip. It's absolutely amazing stuff. Look at this. Look at the length. I'm not using that. I use that for dry flies, little bitty dry flies. What I'm looking for <coughs> is this webby stuff down at the base. And I'm a stickler for tying these hackles in by the tip. Now, save this. Don't throw it away. Sometimes you see me toss stuff over my shoulder. You don't want to do that. So this is more of a collar style, this but tied is in the rear. Collar style, tied in the rear, and I and I'm going to fold this hackle, run my scissors along that hackle, and I'm going to wind this right at the rear of the fly. These are really nice. You can tie these and oh, let's talk about hook sizes. Sea run cutthroat. Um, I hear it said that they will take flies in the size four to size twelve range, and that's accurate. Okay. So I was talking about hook sizes. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna spin on a little bit of STS Trilobal Dubbin which I happen to have handy here. Should have been prepared. So hook sizes. I would encourage you to avoid... A size 4 isn't that great a C-run cutthroat fly. I would encourage you to avoid a size 4, even if they take it, and here's why. Not real big fish, and those are pretty big hooks and you're going to have a lot of injured fish. Now this body is fairly juicy, I would describe it. American Rooster Saddle Clump for the Ford Hackle in hot orange. What a combination! We got dark brown, we got black, we got silver tinsel, and we've got hot orange. This is a killer fly. Now, I've heard of uh, rooster tails in similar colors. Okay. Never. Do those I, work for sea run I have no personal experience <clears throat> with the rooster. What, what is it? Oh, that's right. That's a spinning lure. You'd have to ask Lou about a rooster. I'm going to tie this hackle in by the tip. No, the, the, the facts of the matter are is that if one were to mimic the colors one sees in rooster tails, for example, pinks, oranges, yellows, green and yellow. They're, they're good attractor type patterns. This hackle's coming in by the tight end tip first. 3761 size 8. So you you're, you're finish your discussion on this hook sizes. So stay away from the size 4s. Uh, TMC 700 is a great hook. I love it for steelhead. Stay away from it for sea runs. Uh, size 6, TMC 3761, uh, a comparable Daiichi hook. Size 6, size 8, size 10, size 12. Stay, stay away from the big ones because you're going to hurt a lot of fish. Here's a killer dual hackle sea run cutthroat fly. Thank you.